Hi everyone! Today me and Sonnet are going to be teaching you how to make doll leggings out of a regular human sized knee high. Uh, these are specifically made to fit SD sized dolls. They may fit MSD. I'm not sure. I don't have an MSD to try this on. But um, watch this video and if you'd like to try it for an MSD sized doll, please let me know if the sizing is okay for that too. Um, this definitely won't fit any YoSD size dolls because the circumference of the legging is too wide for their waist. So, unless you want to do some extra sewing, this will only work for the larger size dolls. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, before you get started, I just want to show you the finished product. looks like this. Uh, the reason I'm using knee highs instead of just normal leggings is because you get the, the waist part can actually be used for the doll's waist. Um, yeah, it's a bit thicker, so if you don't like having underwear on your doll, uh, they won't be see-through. So it does end up looking like a normal pair of tights. Um, if you use a normal pair of leggings, obviously you're going to have to work around that and it's going to be more sewing, so this is just the easiest way to go about it without um, doing a heck of a lot of extra sewing, because this method takes one line of sewing. So, first you're going to start with your knee-high. It's just a plain black knee-high, obviously you can do whatever color you want. Then our lovely assistant Sonnet here is going to model for you as modest as she is in her underpants. And you're just going to, for measurement's sake, slide the legging up over your doll's waist until it's as high as you want. Make sure there's a little bit left here so that uh, you can sew the crotch area without it being see-through. And try to make it as loose as possible. In the case of an SD, her feet will probably touch the toes. Um, you can actually leave the toe part on if you want. It's a bit, well, it's it's a little bit big on their toes. Not terribly, but you could make a fair, uh, full pair of pantyhose if you wanted. But I'm going to cut these off at her ankles. So once you know that the leggings are going to fit, um, you're going to put a pin where you want to cut them off if you want to cut them off. On a dowel, they're a bit long, so... I think in any case you should cut them off. On a normal SD, you could probably leave it and do a full pair of tights. So I want to cut them off right at her ankles, so I'm just going to stick a pin right here to mark where I'm going to cut. So once you've done that, you're going to take them off. And your doll can have a break. So then you're going to get the knee high as flat as you can, and then where your pin is, I forgot to mention in the um, things you'll need, you'll also need a pair of scissors, you're going to cut just under the pin. Try to make the line as straight as possible because I'm not going to be hemming these. If you want to hem them, then you don't have to be as neat. But it is kind of difficult to do um, on a normal sewing machine. You could do it by hand, but I don't feel like it. <laughs> so you're going to have this little extra bit, toe bit, if that's the case. And then you can take out your pin. And if your line is messy, you're going to straighten it out. That's why I say cut below the pin, because if your line isn't that straight, you can trim it. So now I have a very nice straight line. And I'm going to take my pins again and make sure this is flat and straight. This one's a little bit weird. Once it's flat and straight, you can pretty much eyeball what's the center. 
If you want to measure it, that's fine, but you won't really need to. I didn't on the first pair, and they do stretch anyway, so it's not really noticeable if one side's a little bigger than the other. So that's about the middle. So I'm just going to stick a pin in the middle. And try to make sure your pins are as straight as you can, because this is going to be your guideline when you sew. And you're going to need about three or four pins, depending on how long your leggings are. And the last one's just going to mark where I want the top of the crotch to be because you're going to need to sew around the head of the pin. So this is some pretty um, evasive sewing. But I just stick the top of that pin right above where it starts to get thick. So make sure you leave a little room. And again, these stretch, so it is okay if it's not... When you've tried it on your doll, it's okay if that black part kind of went up past the crotch a little bit, because these will stretch when you put them on once that bit's sewn. So, your next step, and this is the tricky part if you're not very used to sewing.